In your journey through life, you may find that you possess unique gifts, heightened awareness, and a profound capacity for empathy and compassion. As one of the chosen ones, your innate light draws people towards you, creating deep connections and meaningful relationships. However, this same light can also attract individuals who seek to exploit your gifts for their own benefit. Recognizing the signs that people are using you is crucial for preserving your energy, maintaining your well-being, and fulfilling your true potential. This video will explore the clear indicators of such exploitation and provide guidance on how to protect and reclaim your personal power only reaching out when they need something. One of the most unmistakable signs that someone may be using you is their consistent pattern of reaching out only when they require something from you. This behavior creates a transactional dynamic in the relationship where your value is tied to what you can provide rather than who you are as a person. Transactional relationships are characterized by an exchange of good services or favors with the expectation of receiving something in return in the context of being used. Individuals who only reach out when they need something view relationships through this lens of utility and convenience. For example, a colleague who regularly contacts you for assistance with projects or tasks, but rarely engages in social interactions or shows, interest in your personal life is likely using you for your skills or expertise. Similarly, a friend who only gets in touch when they need emotional support or advice. B. It is absent during times of celebration or your own. Challenges may be exploiting your empathy and availability. Individuals who use others may view your resources, whether tangible or intangible, as means to achieve their own goals or alleviate their own discomforts. This could include your time, expertise, connections, or emotional support, which they leverage for personal gain, without regard for your well-being or reciprocation. For instance, a family member who consistently asks to borrow money or use your car without considering your financial stability. I or schedule may be exploiting your generosity. Similarly, a romantic partner who relies on your emotional stability or caretaking abilities during times of crisis but withdraw support when you express your own needs is likely using you as a source of comfort, effort, or stability. Draining your energy without reciprocating one of the most insidious signs of being used by others is the feeling of being emotionally and energetically drained without receiving anything in return. This dynamic often plays out in several ways, highlighting the imbalance and lack of reciprocity in the relationship individuals who use others often exhibit a pattern of emotional demands that exceed what is reasonable or considerate. They may lean heavily on you for emotional support, constantly seeking reassurance, advice, or empathy, yet offer little or no support in return when you are in need. This one-sided dynamic leaves you feeling emotionally exhausted and overwhelmed as though you are constantly giving without replenishment. For example, a friend who consistently turns to you during times of crisis or distress but is unava, eye-label or dismissive when you seek support can be draining their needs cons consistently, take precedence over yours, creating a lopsided relationship where your emotional resources are depleted. In some cases, individuals who use others as a source of emotional energy may exhibit manipulative behavior designed to maintain control or dominance in the relationship they may employ. Guilt-tripping, emotional blackmail, or passive-aggressive tactics to elicit sympathy, attention, or compliance from you. Energy vampires, as they are sometimes called, called fee, doff the emotional responses and energy of others to bolster their own sense of well-being, or to address their insecurities. This draining behavior can be subtle and difficult to detect initially, as it often starts with seemingly innocent requests for support or companionship. Central to the concept of being used is the absence of reciprocity in the relationship, while healthy relationships thrive on mutual support. Understanding and give-and-take relationships where one one person consistently takes without giving back can become toxic and damaging to ye. Rying to dim your light chosen ones often radiate a luminous light that stems from their supernatural and esoteric gifts, such as intuitive abilities, spiritual wisdom or healing energies.
This light symbolizes their spiritual essence and divine connection, serving as a beacon of guidance and inspiration. However, some individuals may attempt to diminish or obscure this light, either consciously or unconsciously due to their own insecurities, jealousy, or desire for control. Individuals who feel threatened by the Chosen One's spiritual achievements or insights may attempt to minimize their significance. They might downplay the depth or impact of the Chosen One's spiritual experiences, teachings, or contributions, thereby diminishing their value and importance in the spiritual community, or to those seeking guidance, those who seek to diminish the Chosen One's light may undermine their spiritual authority or credibility. They might question the authenticity of their spiritual gifts or teachings, spreading doubt or skepticism among others who look to the Chosen One for guidance or inspiration, jealousy, and competit. Ivanus can motivate individuals to try to dim the Chosen One's light. They may feel threatened by the Chosen One's spiritual gifts, popularity, or influence, leading them to engage in subtle or overt behaviors aimed at reducing the Chosen One's shine in the eyes of others. Manipulative individuals may create distractions or conflicts to divert attention away from the Chosen One's luminous presence. They might instigate gossip, spread rumors, or initiate conflicts within spiritual communities or personal relationships to undermine the Chosen One's repute. Tie-in or credibility, they manipulate your gifts chosen. Ones often possess supernatural or esoteric gifts, such as intuitive abilities, spiritual insights, or healing powers. These gifts are inherent to their spiritual journey and are meant to be used for the greater good and spiritual growth. However, individuals who seek to use others may manipulate these gifts for their own advantage. Disregarding the sacred nature and purpose of these abilities, chosen ones may have the ability to offer spiritual guidance or insights based on their intuitive or psychic a ability at times those who manipulate may seek their guidance, excessively relying on their intuitive insights without respecting the chosen one's boundaries or personal space. They may use this guidance to make decisions or manipulate situations to their advantage without considering the Chosen One's well-being if a Chosen One possesses healing abilities. Whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, manipulative individuals may exploit these powers for their own healing or relief from ailments they may demand constant healing sessions or energy work without recipe. Rosidi or gratitude draining the Chosen One's energy and undermining the sacred purpose of healing. Some individuals may approach Chosen Ones for supernatural interventions or rituals to resolve personal issues or gain material benefits. They may view the Chosen One's gifts as a means to manifest their desires without understanding or respecting the spiritual principles involved. This can lead to misuse of spirit will practices and distortion of their intended purpose. Downplaying your achievements. Downplaying your achievements is a manipulative tactic use. D by individuals who seek to maintain control or superiority over you. This behavior diminishes your successes in their eyes and undermines your sense of accomplishment. When someone downplays your achievements, they may attribute your success to external factors rather than acknowledging your hard work or talent. They may compare your achievements unfavorably to others or highlight areas where you fall short. This comparison is intended to make you feel inadequate or undeserving of recognition. Another tactic is to minimize the significance of your achievements. They might suggest that what you've accomplished isn't that impressive or important, thereby diminishing your sense of pride and accomplishment. Sometimes individuals who use others simply ignore or downplay your achievements altogether. They may change the subject, show disinterest, or fail to acknowledge your successes, leaving you feeling unnoticed or unappreciated. Emotional impact and psychological consequences, experiencing being used in relationships, can have profound emotional and psychological effects on the individual. These cons, equances arise from the imbalance of power. Exploitation of trust and repeated disregard for personal boundaries being used often leads to feelings of resentment towards the person. 
exploiting your kindness or resources. You may feel betrayed by their manipulation and disregard for your well-being, especially if you've invested time, effort, or emotions into the relationship being used, can erode trust in relationships. You may become wary of others, intentions especially when they show interest or kindness. This distrust stems from the experience of being taken advantage of and the fear of being exploited again constantly giving without receiving appreciation or reciprocity can lower your self-esteem. You may start questioning your worth or capabilities, feeling undervalued or unimportant in the relationship. Dynamic the one-sided nature of being used can lead to emotional exhaustion, constantly giving your time, energy, or resources without receiving support or consideration. In return, can drain your emotional reserves and lead to burnout. Individuals who use others often employ manipulative t axe tactics to maintain control over time. You may become more susceptible to manipulation making it challenging to recognize and assert your boundaries in future relationships. The psychological impact of being used can manifest as anxiety, depression, or feelings of helplessness. These mental health challenges arise from the stress and strain of navigating one-sided relationships where your needs are consistently overlooked or disregarded. Addressing the emotional and psychological consequences of being used involves self-reflection, boundary setting, and C. King support from trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals recognizing these impacts allows you to prioritize self-care and cultivate relationships that are respectful supportive and mutually beneficial healing and reclaiming personal power. Chosen ones are individuals who possess supernatural and esoteric gifts that are intrinsic to their spiritual journey and purpose. These gifts often include intuitive abilities, healing powers or profound spiritual insights which serve as conduits for divine guidance and transformation. However, the journey of a chosen one is not without its challenges particularly when these gifts are misused, misunderstood, or exploited by others. Healing and reclaiming personal power become essential steps in navigating these challenges and fulfilling their spiritual destiny. The journey journey of healing begins with recognizing the innate spiritual resilience within the chosen one. Despite facing adversity or exploitation of their gifts, they possess an inner strength and connection to divine guidance that sustains them through challenges. This resilience serves as a foundation for reclaiming personal power and restoring balance within their spiritual journey. Healing involves introspection and self-reflection, where the chosen one examines their Experiences, emotions, and beliefs surrounding their spiritual gifts. They explore how these gifts have been utilized or misused, and how these dynamics have impacted their sense of self-worth, purpose, and spiritual growth. The process of healing often requires releasing emotional baggage accumulated from past experiences of exploitation or manipulation. This may involve acknowledging and processing feelings of betrayal, resentment, or guilt associated with the misuse of their gifts by releasing these emotions. The Chosen One creates space for healing and transformation within themselves. Central to healing is the reconnection with divine guidance and spiritual purpose. The Chosen One seeks guidance from higher realms— spirit guides or divine sources to gain clarity, wisdom, and direction on how to navigate their healing journey and reclaim their personal power. This reconnection reaffirms their role as stewards of divine gifts and aligns them with their spiritual mission within every chosen one lies a reservoir of inner power that transcends the chal. NGs and obstacles encountered on their spiritual path, this Inner power is rooted in their connection to divine source and serves as a source of strength, resilience, and purpose. By harnessing this inner power, the Chosen One navigates healing with grace and determination, emerging stronger and more aligned with their spiritual calling. Radiant resilience, 
The journey of chosen ones is marked by profound spiritual insights and supernatural gifts that are meant to inspire, heal, and guide others. However, this path is not without its challenges, particularly when the D. Air gifts are exploited or misunderstood by those seeking personal gain or control, recognizing the signs of being used. Whether through inconsistent support manipulation of gifts or attempts to diminish their light is crucial for chosen ones to reclaim their personal power and uphold the sacredness of their spiritual journey by setting boundaries, cultivating self-worth and embracing divine guidance. Chosen ones can navigate these challenges with resilience and integrity. Ultimately, the journey of chosen ones is a testament to the power of authenticity and de-spiritual empowerment inspiring others to honor and respect the unique gifts and contributions of each individual on their path of spiritual awakening.